Hello, hello, hello. This is Dave. I had to do this because uh, when I posted this, I was talking about how I uh, lifted up with these um, Harbor Freight little uh, tie down ratchets. This is them right here. You can see they ain't much. It's a four pack and they're rated at 400 pound working load. It doesn't say, I didn't find anything in it where it said uh, you're not supposed to pick stuff up, but I know they're tie down ratchets. It says right there, ratchet tie downs. And so the load is probably they hold something that weighs 400 pounds down. And I'm doing this, which, which like I said before, I have did this before. I picked up uh, in my trailer here, I got my big pulley. Now the pulley only weighs a couple hundred pounds, but my inch and 11, 16 shafts, and I got long shafts, and everything's really heavy. So I have did this before, and I use redundancy. But what I'm doing now is I'm showing you my biggest mistake. If you look at this, this isn't dirt. I know it is dirty. But my mistake was, we look at the other side, is um, that I had these all piled up. I, I got a bunch of them. And uh, I piled them all up. And this happened. Now I did say that they're rated for 400. So I would say, you know, I expect 200 out of them and when you rate something 400 like that it will probably pick up 800 so I want to put plenty of them on here but I was picking this up and I had it up coming out of here and lo and behold this one broke it broke on me luckily I was on this side it went that way and knocked the other ladder over my uh, umbrella and everything but I just wanted to bring it out here and show everybody what not to do uh, see this is what I did now I pile them all up and unfortunately I didn't realize it at the time I should have didn't think about it but I had them all piled up here on the trailer underneath my spiral staircase and I'm doing a lot of welding up here and uh, the little dingles and sparks and everything come down and uh, if uh, I inspected them now that now that it, it uh, that one broke but I went over here and inspected them and this one you see this discoloration that's actually and, and I guess if you look through it you can see through it that's actually where the dingles, the welding spatter went. And I started looking at all of them. And my God, it's on every one of them. And it's because I piled up this one. So I went over and bought some new ones. I'm gonna take all these down. I mean, it was, I guess you could say it was a little traumatic, a little traumatic for me. And I did, I kind of looked at them and you can see light through them, little holes, and uh, that's not good. So I got new ones, all my old, all of them, I'm throwing all the old ones away. Uh, I think I know I'm pretty safe, I use these quite a bit. And these, I, uh, they're old, I've, you know, been using them for for a few years. I, what I would do is, is buy a box of these every year. I think I had like, you know, they come four in a box. I must have had like 20, 24 of them. So, <laughs> don't weld over your straps like I did. <laughs> don't do it. You, uh, you may live to regret it. Yeah, this is just crazy. And these two, you know, even, I'm gonna throw everything away. These two, because they were all laying in a pile underneath well, on the trailer, underneath from where I was welding. And uh, 
I, I, I really did a lot of welding up there. I mean, I don't, I don't work much. Come out here two or three hours, but if you figure you, you weld over the top of them a couple, three hours every day, after a, a month of that, these babies are history. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Be safe out there. And uh, I had to regroup and uh, come up with a better plan. Talk to you later. Bye.